Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about New Glenn to be launched in the orbit by Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin before SpaceX Starship 20 and V4 reach orbit. Before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. We'll have to wait another year to see the Blue Origin's massive orbital rocket take off from the ground in space. In a statement released today in February 25th, Blue Origin, the company founded by the Amazon.com founder Jeff Bezos, announced that it will move the target date for the first launch of its heavy lift New Glenn rocket from the late 2020 to the fourth quarter of the 2022. According to a statement released today, this revised maiden flight target follows the recent Space Force decision not to select New Glenn for the National Security Space Launch, Phase 2 Launch Services procurement, according to the Blue Origin representatives. The Space Force announced in August 2020 that it had selected SpaceX United Launch Alliance as the winners of the National Security Launch Competition. Blue Origin and the North Rope Grumman were the losers. New Glenn is a two-stage rocket that stands 322 feet 98 meters tall and is named after the NASA astronaut John Glenn, who became the first American to complete a circumnavigation of the Earth in February 1962. The first person to accomplish this feat was the cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, who accomplished it in April 1961. If everything goes according to the plan, the rocket will be capable of launching 50 tons, 45 metric tons into the Earth orbit once it's up and running. According to the specification page, in a statement, Bezos expressed his hope and the new Glenn will be transport people as well as cargo. According to the Blue Origin representatives, each new Glenn first stage will have the capability of launching 25 missions. Shortly after liftoff, the booster will return to Earth and land on a ship in the ocean, similar to what we have seen with the first stages of the Space Access Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets in the recent months. In this type of the reuse that's essential to the Blue Origin's overall vision, which is to assist humanity in expanding its footprint out into the final frontier. Examples include the company's new Shepard rocket capsule combination, which is designed to transport people and pellets to the suborbital space and is completely reusable. One new Shepard vehicle has completed seven unnamed test flights, landing successfully on each occasion. New Shepard is not yet operational, but its first crewed space flights are expected to take place in the near future. Officials from the Blue Origin wrote in the Today's Update that the company is continuing to make good progress on the new Glenn spacecraft and its launch pad at the Cap Canberra Space Force Station in Florida. According to the Space News, the company has already secured New Glenn launch contract with the companies such as Utilsat, Moose Space, OneWeb, SkyPerfect GS80, and Telesat. New Glenn is now eligible to compete for the contracts under the NASA Launch Service 2 program, which applies to the launches through December 2027 and has recently been approved by the agency. New Glenn is proceeding to fulfill its current commercial contracts, pursue a large and growing commercial market, and enter into new civil space launch contracts, they wrote. We hope to launch NSSL payloads in the future, and we remain committed to supporting the national defense mission of the United States of America. In honor of the John Glenn, the first American to complete an orbit around the Earth, New Glenn is named after him. New Armstrong will be the name of the next rocket according to Bezos, who stated in an email to subscribers that, but that's a story for another time. Alan Shepard was the first person to set foot on the moon and a rocket named after him suggests that a possible focus on the human rated rockets capable of reaching lunar destination is in the works. If this is the case, however, it will be many years before it becomes a reality. The new Glenn itself is not expected to take to the skies for at least another two years. It is our intention to launch new Glenn for the first time from the Cap Canberra's historic launch complex 36 before the end of this decade. Blue Origins Jeff Bezos is the founder. What makes the new Glenn different from the other rockets? If you are looking to compare rockets, you should look at their payload capacity to various orbits. For example, how much stuff can that carry to low Earth orbit, medium Earth orbit, geostationary orbit, and so on? There are a number of factors that go into this calculation. 
including the mass of the rocket, which we do not yet understand. Although Amazon did not contribute to the new Glenn's thrust capability, this is a good indicator of how capable new Glenn will be in the long run. Furthermore, with a lift-off thrust of the 3.85 million pounds, the two-stage new Glenn rocket will be more powerful than the most powerful rocket currently in operation. The Delta IV Heavy provided by the United Launch Alliance, which has a lift-off thrust of the 2.1 million pounds. Once in operation, SpaceX Falcon Heavy, on the other hand, will outperform that capability with more than 5 million pounds of lift-off thrust. The Falcon Heavy is expected to take to the skies for the first time by the end of this year. Still, once Blue Origin gets New Glenn up and running, they will be able to boost they have one of the world's most powerful rockets on their hands. The fact they have incorporated reusability into this design is a significant step forward. NASA, SpaceX, Blue Origin, United Launch Alliance all have plans to launch reusable heavy lift rockets by the end of the decade, which represents a significant shift for the space industry. The times they are a changing, as they say. The combination of the competition and reusable rocket is expected to drive down launch prices even further, making access to space more affordable for researchers, astronauts alike, as well as for the general public. Our vision is for millions of people to live and work in space, and New Glenn is a significant step toward that goal. Blue Origin is a Jeff Bezos is the founder. The fact that the world's fifth richest person is among a group of entrepreneurs who are focusing their efforts and putting their money on the line on finding new ways to make space exploration more affordable is already making waves in the space exploration industry. The ability to go to orbital. The BE-4 engines, which will burn liquefied natural gas and liquefied oxygen, will power the new Glenn spacecraft. The second stage of the rocket will be powered by a single BE-4 engine that has been vacuum optimized. New Glenn could also be configured as a three-stage rocket using the same booster and be capable of delivering payloads to the orbits other than low Earth orbit. The third stage would be powered by a single BE-3 engine that was vacuum optimized and burned liquefied hydrogen and liquid oxygen. While the BE-3 engine is currently in use on the new Shepard rocket, Blue Origin has been collaborating with the United Launch Alliance since 2011 to develop the new high-performance BE-4 engine that will be used on the new Shepard rocket. Beyond Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, the BE-4 will be used on the United Launch Alliance's reusable Vulcan rocket, which is currently under development and is scheduled to launch in 2019. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.